So in this course, I want to talk about moving your single server setup into AWS and using AWS services instead of having everything installed on that one server. The example here we're going to do is moving a site over from a Forge server, which is basically a PHP Laravel server, into AWS, and then seeing how to leverage AWS services instead of just having it all on that one server, like I said before. So this is actually the server for Cloudcast.io. We're not going to move Cloudcast.io into AWS in this course, but it'll just be another Laravel application. But this is just the example. This server is up and running with Cloudcast, and you can see it just has everything installed on it as Forge does for you, and it does a great job of that. But sometimes we need to move or want to move into AWS or similar clouds so we can leverage their services and get the benefit of those managed services so that we don't have to care about them ourselves, so we have less burden on ourselves. I'm in the server right now, and you can see we have everything running, like PHP FPM is running, MySQL is running, Redis is running. It's all installed on the server, and these are the things we're going to move to separate services onto AWS. So what are we going to do in AWS? Well, we're going to do a few things. One is that we're going to use EC2, Elastic Cloud Compute, to create another server. We're still going to create a server. That server will be the application server. It's going to host our PHP application, so it'll have PHP inside of it, and PHP FPM and Nginx and all the web tier stuff. We'll use RDS, the relational database service provided by AWS so that they can manage the database for us. RDS is a managed relational database service, so we can spin up MySQL, Postgre, and other databases as well, including AWS's Aurora, which has its own MySQL and Postgre flavor as well, if you'd like. These are managed databases. They do things like backup for you. You can do replication or just have a multi-AZ setup, which is something I'll explain later, where it can fail over to a secondary instance. All sorts of options here. It's a little bit more expensive because it's managed, but it's a super, super good service. It's one of the best in AWS. We'll also use ElastiCache for our cache. So they have Redis and Memcache flavors. We're going to set up a Redis flavor of this to replace the Redis that's in the server over here in Cloudcast. And then we'll explore if we want to do any other services as well. So the things we're going to set up here are a server. It's going to be inside of a private network. Inside of that private network, we can also add our database and our Redis. So our services all can communicate with each other over this private network. They don't need to communicate over a public network at all or anything like that. So we'll see how to manage the network and security groups and all the little things you need to know when setting up a new server in AWS when you want to leverage AWS services.